hey, all you gifted artists, hope you've been doing a lot of art. You've had plenty of time. Lots of time at home. So let's draw something today. And uh, let's get ready for uh, the holidays, okay? First thing you want to do is grab a piece of paper. You want to turn it vertical like this. Okay. You can take marker, pencil, crayon, paint, if you have it. Let's do some background swirls. Okay. Some circles in circles. Okay. Maybe some zigzag lines. And let's just put some of these in the background. If you notice, I'm leaving some space in the middle. I'm going to create a portrait. So stay with me. Okay, so those are some of the uh, objects that you can put. If you don't like it, go back over it. If you want to put snowflakes, you can do something like this. It's up to you. Uh, you could just color solid color in the background. Just take some paper and just color the whole background. Whatever you want to do. All right. <clears throat> now, the first object that you're going to create is a modified oval. You do a small S line. It over on the right side and down to the point. Okay, not perfect. If you don't like it, go back and erase it. No, get there. There we go. Remember to pause the video, catch up. And this circle needs to be red. This one here, a red circle. So you might want to do that one last. Okay. <clears throat> now inside the modified oval, we're going to put a half circle like that. We'll cover in. Some lines around it like this. <clears throat> oh, yes. You can tell what it is now, right? Definitely with the smile on there. It's going to be a reindeer. Okay. So under the head, you want to put two lines from the head down to the bottom of the paper. <clears throat> you might put a diamond shape inside of the neck. All right. You definitely want to put a broken oval on each side of the head for ears. And some shapes inside. Curve line shapes. Okay, now pay attention to this. You go up and around. Up and around and down. That looks like a kind of a bubble letter F. All right, and so for this side, we're going to reverse that. Something like that. So it's got, yeah, it got antlers, doesn't it? And then we might put some maybe a hair up here on the head. Something like that. And then you can go back and color. Might leave that white. You can 
color this brown. Make sure their nose is red. Antlers could be a tan color. A little pink inside of the ears. And then whatever you want to do in the background. Okay, hope you enjoy.